Good morning, everyone. Welcome back for another travel vlog. This one is definitely uh, a little sad and sombering, but also pretty cool to me and definitely a piece of history. We're here in Arlington, at Arlington Cemetery here in Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C., right next to the Pentagon. This is my first time here at Arlington Cemetery. Cemetery. There's a ton to see. We're right now we're walking to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The Kennedys are all buried here. That's going to be a video in itself because, you know, me being living in Dallas and seeing where it all JFK assassinated and everything happens, that deserves to be a video in itself. So anyway, let's go check out Arlington Cemetery today. As you can imagine, this is a huge cemetery. We actually just saw there's a funeral that was happening right now. And uh, it's definitely a bit of a walk, so I'm glad we have a lot of time. But uh, there's so many landscapers and workers that probably work daily to keep uh, the cemetery looking as nice and as well kept as it possibly can. States Army Military Police Corps. Proud memory of those soldiers of the United States Army Military Police Corps who made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of freedom. Wow. Now, I believe this, almost this whole side that we've seen, this is all women. Yeah, it is. This is like the, the women in military memorial area. And this is actually kind of sad. This is uh, probably just happened. Oh no, there's there's men on this side. I see. Two thousand twelve. Hmm. Yeah, David Leroy Erickson says two thousand twelve U.S. Navy Vietnam. So I don't know why this is, unless he, maybe he was just moved here. That's the only thing I can think of. I've never been here before, so I apologize in advance if, I, if I'm not 100% certain on all these facts today, but definitely wanted to record this while we were here. Hmm. Trying to give you guys like a 360 view, just so you can get an idea of how massive this cemetery is and for obvious reasons and there's still so much open you know land for future people who'll be buried here shoot infantry to honor those brave troopers who fought so gallantly to liberate Western Europe in World War II. This is pretty interesting. I did not know they had like more so, you know, modern, regular looking tombstones here, but because, you know, most of them are, are like those guys, but this area has a uh, more of the normal looking tombstones and this is where they split you go left tomb of the unknown soldier 
You go right, present JFK gravesite. Which way are we going today? I will have to say one thing about this place. It is very peaceful and very cool to see in person. Well, my friends, I promise we are getting closer. I think, I think we see it. We probably walked a mile already. But I believe right up at the top of this hill is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And I'm pretty sure, my brother and I are pretty sure there's a Marine that guards it 24 seven, but I guess we'll find out when we get to the top. We'll see you there. Wow, they're actually playing taps if you can hear it in the background, but here's the background on the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Located in section two is the Civil War Unknown Monument. The first memorial at Arlington National Cemetery dedicated to unknown soldiers. Dedicated in 1866, it sits atop a burial vault containing the remains of 2,111 unknown soldiers recovered from Bull Run and the road to Rappahannock if I pronounce that right. But they're playing taps, so we're gonna be quiet now. This is very interesting. So I didn't even know this was a building you can go into. It's like a... That's something. Oh, look at this. Silent in the process of burying and honoring the unknown, including members of the public. You guys can read from there on. It's 
really cool. His flag used to cover the coffin of the Vietnam War unknown. During his funeral services, President Ronald Reagan placed the Jason Medal of Honor on this flag. So there's the flag. There's the Medal of Honor. Purple Heart. And here it's actually happening. President Reagan. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. That was very cool to see. We just missed them playing taps, but you kind of could hear it in the previous video. I did not realize that behind there, you could actually go in that building and they had a lot of really cool facts that I hope you all enjoyed. Anyway, we're gonna continue our little tour of the Arlington Cemetery today. We found some interesting facts about the Tomb of the Unknown soldier whoever guards the the marines who guard the tomb so here we go they must commit two years of life to guard the tomb live in a barracks under the tomb and cannot drink any alcohol on or off duty for the rest of their lives they cannot swear in public for the rest of their lives and cannot disgrace the uniform fighting or the tomb in any way now this is from google so we don't know how true all that is but i'm sure some of it is definitely true i cannot believe how massive this cemetery is i mean obviously you know this is without doubt the most sacred cemetery in the united states of america so it probably is the largest i'm not sure but I, ha I, I did know that coming into this. I've seen YouTube videos and everyone says, this is a massive cemetery. It's a walk to go anywhere, but it is very, very peaceful. It looks like there's going to be a funeral service soon. Maybe even today. Chairs are all still covered and... Well. We finally found out about the, the Marine Guards at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. I read you, just read you the little background of what they may or may not have to do. We're not sure how exactly accurate that is. But we just found out they change guards every 30 minutes. I'm not sure if they play taps every 30 minutes, but they change guards every 30 minutes. Good to know. All right, everyone, we are wrapping up our tour today at Arlington Cemetery. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you thought it was very interesting and cool to see. I This is something I always wanted to see ever since I was little. Planned on doing it before we moved down to Texas. It never happened due to COVID, but now I'm very glad and thankful I got to come back here and do it with my mom and my brother. So if you like to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and we'll see you all next time on the Travel Channel.